Hello guys, welcome to the Python series. In today's video, we are going to look into a very interesting topic, which is object oriented programming or OOP. So let's start with the introduction of object oriented programming. So object oriented programming allows programmers to create their own objects that have methods and also attributes. OOP allows users to create their own objects. In general, OOP allows us to create code that is repeatable and organized with the help of objects. So when, when you generally look at the format, it is often very confusing and its usefulness may not be completely clear at first. So when you're looking at larger scripts of Python code, functions by themselves aren't enough for this repeatability and organi organize. So in order to correct this, we are using objects or object oriented programming to make it more clear and impactful. So commonly repeated tasks and objects can be defined with OOP to create code that is more usable in this case. So the syntax for object oriented programming is uh, here we are using the class keyword followed by the name of the class. Next we are defining a method which is init which is instance of that actual object and in the brackets we are mentioning the attributes. First we have self. Self is also known as the instance of the object itself and parameters which are param1 and param2 it is not mandatory that you mention uh, two parameters or you can also use more than two parameters three parameters or something but one parameter is more than sufficient so followed by in the next line you have self dot param1 so initially when you pass a parameter you need to assign it to the attribute of function so here you're assigning it to a function which is self which is a uh, part of the object self dot param1 equal to param1 the next followed by the next line we have self dot param2 equal to param2 then now next in the further case we are defining another method which is some method in this case and here we use the self which is related to the following class so then we are printing the object which is uh, the attribute which is a uh, part of the object self dot param1 now let's try some examples on attributes and object oriented programming so first uh, let's First, let's start by creating a class named dog. Then we are going to define function known as get name. And we're going to print saying that the name of the dog would be Tommy. Then we're going to define another function uh, saying get age and we're going to print saying it's one. Then we're going to define another function get action and we're going to print saying that Tommy say box so you say box so each time you uh, mention the function you have to pass in the self parameter so self tells the op class which object I am in and which uh, and where I'm going to try to apply the function on so here I'm using the self so now let me assign a variable d to the function d to the class dog and now when I try d dot get name I'm going to get Tommy and now D dot get uh, so I'm just gonna say uh, try to use D dot get H one so D dot 
get action it's going to say box so uh, what if i wanted to pass more than one parameter to an uh, class or an object so we are going for doing that we are going to use the init method so we can create more than one parameter so first let's take in the class dog then we're gonna say define in it and we're gonna pass in self comma name comma then we're gonna say self dot name equal to name then self dot h equal to h and self dot action equal to action so now we are going to define function get name we're going to pass in self and we're going to print saying that the dog's name is and I'm going to say self dot name next uh, we're going to create another function def get age and self going to print the dogs ages self dot h so the next uh, the function get action and let's say so print now here we're gonna use something different so we're gonna say self dot name plus self dot action so here both of them correlate to each other so now let us try to update the details of another dog let us say that the name of the new dog is the variable assigned is d1 and dog the name of the dog is Jimmy and the age is 1.2 and let's say barks so now what we're gonna do is let us say d1 dot get name so it says the dog's name is Jimmy and when you try d1 dot get age say the dog's age is 1.2 now let's try d1 dot get action so it says that Jimmy barks Thank you.